Hi, hello. Uh, welcome to Worldwide Culinary Apprentice. Uh, I am Hiroko Shimba. Okay, so today I will show you how to make dashi, Japanese stock, or sometimes called fish stock. And this is the most major or pop popular stock used in the Japanese cooking. Uh, dashi or fish stock is the foundation of many, many Japanese dishes, including soups, uh, simmered dishes, braised dishes, salad dressings, sauces, and sometimes uh, as a marinade. So, uh, last time you learned how to make kelp stock, kombu dashi, and here I have the kombu dashi. And now make sure that the kombu, uh, you have removed the kombu from the water. So, uh, today I am heating up this kombu, or actually after making kelp stock, I always go to make the uh, dashi stock. So, I am heating this up to 174, uh, 76 F degree, uh, which is 80 C degree. At this temperature, the katsuobushi, uh, the fish flakes, extract the most flavor. Uh, okay, so now, while waiting for the water to come up to 176, uh, let me uh, introduce you the very very interesting uh, uh, stuff. This is katsuobushi as hard as the wood, like here, the chopping board. Uh, this is actually made from uh, skipjack tuna, uh, which is as uh, big as uh, uh, this uh, size. Uh, it is like a tuna. Uh, it is a migrating fish. And uh, this fish is caught in early spring uh, in Japan, uh, the, uh, the coastal water. Uh, the spring fish, young fish, has uh, very low uh, fat stored in their body. And that's very, very important. And the fish is uh, headed, uh, cleaned, filleted, and uh, first cooked or steamed. Then uh, the steamed fish is smoked. Uh, the next step is smoking and drying. Uh, it's repeated until fish loses 80% of the moisture uh, in the fish. Then uh, that's pretty enough, but then the fish is left in the moisture and the temperature controlled room uh, for about one week, two weeks, uh, to allow the fungi or uh, blue mold grow on the surface of the fish. So after confirming that the uh, fish is covered with mold, uh, fish is uh, taken out, and then mold is removed. This is uh, repeated several times. And at the end, uh, the fish loses additional 5% of moisture. So this process is very important because the fungi, the mold, actually breaks down the very little fat remained in the fish uh, so that fish can be stored longer or even uh, one year without uh, uh, spoiling. So this is uh, <coughs> what uh, becomes like this katsuobushi, katsuo skipjack tuna. Bushi means uh, a kind of uh, this kind of piece. Now katsuobushi is available, all uh, already shaved form like this. And well, when you buy this, uh, what you you look for is the very light, shiny. Uh, not a uh, dull uh, brown uh, piece of uh, this kind of piece. Uh, it has very 
uh, say yes, fishy, but very nice smoky aroma. Okay, so the temperature is almost uh, uh, 176. So what you will do is add this to this kelp stock. So here, this is a kelp stock, and I am adding katsuobushi, uh, which pe people call as fish flakes. And then just push it down. And then at this temperature, uh, the temperature goes down a little bit after adding the flakes. And then let it come back to 176. Uh, then leave it for two minutes to five minutes. Uh, if you leave it five minutes, you get the more robust uh, flavor of the stock, which I love to use for uh, some miso soup or when I braise uh, strong flavored fish, or well, each has a different uh, use. Uh, as I mentioned in the kelp stock section, uh, we will make second uh, kelp stock, second uh, dashi fish stock, and everything you can refer to my uh, cookbook, The Japanese Kitchen, or Hirogo's American Kitchen. Uh, there there is a uh, very good uh, recipes for second stock. And when you want to confirm your first stock preparation, always you can go back to the recipe. Okay, so uh, this is, let's see, uh, let me just uh, uh, leave it for two minutes. And what you need here, the strainer. Uh, and then okay here is a strainer uh, this is very very fine and you need some paper towel uh, not cheesecloth cheesecloth is very porous well you need or in the Japanese kitchen we use uh, hukin uh, this is uh, just a uh, hundred percent cotton very finely uh, knitted and place this over here and so that we don't need any tiny bits of uh, fish flakes in uh, in my clear dashi stock okay so time is up so let me just strain this turn off the heat and then pour this over here it is hot so please be careful one time when i asked uh, my assistant to make the fish stock yeah he completed the mission then came back came back with uh, this one but all of that she is going to the uh, sink so this is what we are making uh, this is the dashi and when you smell wow it has a very very nice uh, smoky flavor and as you can see the color is uh, slightly uh, yellowish brown and i should have taste this uh, every time when you make please taste Mm. This is great. So uh, this dashi, dashi fish stock, I will be make, uh, using a lot in my preparations. How to keep this or at the Japanese uh, high-end restaurant, of course, we make dashi every day. Freshly made dashi has its aroma uh, the uh, good taste. If you leave it one day in the kitchen, yeah, the flavor gets stale. Uh, however, if you are running a busy life or kitchen, uh, you can store this in the refrigerator for three days or freeze them. So this is the dashi.
Thank you.